Okay, let's talk about one of my favorite commands in Zeek script, and that's routines. Now, routines, if you're coming from another language, routines are just functions. If not, a routine is a block of code that you can, that you can come back to and run as many times as you like. So routines are perfect for when you're writing the same block of code over and over again. So you can place that code inside a routine and run it whenever you like. So to make sense, I'll make a few examples and hopefully you understand perfectly what a routine does and what it is and what it's used for. In my case, I use routines for everything, especially because of variable scope. And I'll get to variable scope in future videos, probably the next video. Before I even start doing your routines, I want to talk about naming convention. And so far, we have been doing variables, starting with lowercase, saying like my var and using camel case right so for routines a good a good way to identify if it's a routine or a variable is by using always starting always with uppercase for routines so the way to set up a routine is saying routine define so we're going to define a routine we're going to create a routine and we say my routine so you can see i'm starting with capital and using lowercase after that so my routine and whatever i place in here let's say a note for example been using notes a lot and we're just gonna say hello world because that's what everybody does in computer languages when they're teaching anyway now to call that routine all i have to do is say routine call so I'm gonna say my routine and so this command is gonna run anything that is inside my routine which is this note so if I come here and press this run routine it's gonna give me hello world now you can use routines to change variables let's say I have a var that was being defined as let's say 10 and then inside of this routine I'm gonna say well, let me just move this down here and inside of this routine I'm gonna set this variable to something else saying var set my var to 5 now I'm just gonna do a note on my var set there so I, I'm going to output my var before I run the routine and then I'll run the routine and the routine will set my var to 5 and I'll output my var again, which will result in the following. So first time my note comes up, it's 10 because I defined my var as 10. Then the routine is run, it turns that var into 5 and I get 5 for the same var. We can do this in a different way because we can pass variables to our routines. So let's say input variable and I'm going to set input variable to 5. So down here I can say that the input variable is my var and this will give me the same result. So if I result first I get 10 and then the routine is called it turns the input variable which is my var into 5 let's try to exemplify this in a different way going back to note I'll just delete this and I'll just call my routine and I say my note so I'm going to output and just change this Okay, forget about this variable here. Okay, so this is the simplest way I can show you how this works. My routine, so my routine is called and I'm passing on a variable, which is this input variable here. And then I'm outputting that variable. So if I reload and I run the routine, I get my note because that's the variable that I passed. Now, if, I, if my routine has a variable like this routine has, and I run this routine without passing a variable, I'll get this error. The number of inputs is less than the number of inputs. 
defined by the routine okay I can however just do this and then if I run it it gives me nothing because I didn't pass anything and I can have more than one input var let's say input var number two and I leave number one empty and number two I'll say hello and here I'll just output number two and this will give me hello because I'm leaving number one alone and I'm giving number two there and you can call a routine from inside another routine I could say for example I could call my routine 2 and define my routine 2 up here say my routine 2 and let's just do input var I could do this no problem I can also call a routine inside the loop if I want to what I cannot do is call a routine inside of itself so for example if I do something like this and I call my routine the same routine I'm inside my routine and I'm calling my routine inside of here this is gonna give an error that doesn't work okay 